Hello, everybody. This is Xin Li Xiang. I work in Uber Data Team as Tech Lead Manager. I'm also leading the Apache Parquet community. Our Uber Data Team's vision is move the world with global data, local insight, and intelligent decisions. Let's briefly look at our Uber Data overall architecture through three layers view. Data infer at the bottom, data analytics in the middle, data tools and the service as a platform on the top. The core of our Uber data infer is a data lake, which has a compute fabric and a storage cluster. The data coming to the lake from upstream, like online storage, events, feeds, telemetry, and they use Kafka as streaming pipe. All the ingesting pipelines powered by Hudi with transactions. The data can be available in minutes level, which is super fast. Move up to data analytics layer, which has real-time analytics and batch processing. We have Flink as a real-time processing platform. We also see faster growing adoption of Apache Painter. On the batch side, we have Presto as the interrupt query engines, which can provide usually seconds level in latency. For complex compute application, we have a huge amount of usage of Spark. We are still using Hive for some pipelines. We have a rich set of tools and service as data platform for our user. For instance, we have a query builder UI that the user can easily compose and run their queries regardless where the data is. We have Piper, you work, that you can create your workflows and schedule it. We have dashboard service, you can easily build your own dashboard. We also have data book, which can provide insight of the data. The metadata, the data usage, the data permissions, data lineage, data quality, et cetera, in one place, you can see all the attributes of your data. Collectively, our Uber data team empower our users like data engineers, data scientists, operations, and many other engineers with a fast, efficient, reliable, and a secure data service. One of the challenges we are facing is that the data growing so fast I believe this could be a common challenge for many other companies as well. Because of the fast growing data, the storage compute become more expensive. Not only it costs more money, but also the machine learning jobs become slow. It can cause disk L pressure, GC pressure, memory pressure, and CPU pressure, and so on. Before I introduce the initiative that we took to reduce the data size, let's briefly look at Apache Parquet where our initiatives are. Apache Parquet is a big data file format used widely in the industry. Parquet is storage efficient by providing encode, encoding, compressing, for instance, runless encoding, data encoding, snapping, gzip, this standard, et cetera. Finally, because it is column storage, the data in the same column usually has similar value and they store together. This will benefit the compression and encoding. We took many initiatives to reduce their storage size. Here we talk about four initiatives that we took in Parquet to make data more efficient and use Spark implement those initiatives. Number one, decimal precession reduction on the location data. Number two, multiple columns reordering to benefit the compression. Number third, unused data deletion on both file and column level. Number four, adoption of Z standard, which is a more advanced compression method. For the location data, like longitude, latitude. They are usually represented as double, 
which has 64 bits. That provides very high precision. To give you some idea, decimal eight can be mapped to 0 0.001 meter. In some cases, it is unnecessary and it's a waste. For instance, if the source of the data is from GPS, we all know GPS can only provide the precession at a meter level. Now you are storing it with a very high precession data type, which can provide 0 0.001 meter, which is a huge waste. If we can reduce the precession by erasing the trading bits, then we get more zeros connect to each other. We apply encoding or compression, then they become more efficient. So we did a test from precession eight to six. We see the size, the table size has 12% reduction in the storage. The second initiative is multiple column reordering or called sorting. After sorting, the data with same value or similar value are put together, which is more efficient for encoding and compression. Sorting is a relatively expensive operation. So this paper talks about some algorithm to do so. What we found is the order of ordering make difference. In this example, we have four columns in the table. And we saw the columns with different order column order. We see the different size reduction. We started with no sorting at all. And then we, we proceeded with different column with different order. In the best case, we see 32% reduction of the table size, which is another decent reduction. The third initiative is to delete unused data. If the old partition not used at all, delete them. For the newer partition, we look at further. Sometimes we can delete some unused column. Sometimes it can surprise us, even delete one column it save us like parabytes level storage size. Deleting data seems very easy, but actually it is not. When you're deleting some columns, you need to rewrite the data. For the large scale, we will rewrite in the rewrite very fast. Otherwise, it took years to finish. And we need to rewrite safely. Otherwise, we're creating outages. So we develop a lot of tools to do so increase the speed, increase the data safety, and they are available in the probably 1.12. The fourth initiative is adoption of this standard, which is more efficient. We did a comparison that converting proxy files to this standard, and we see a 79% reduction from uncompressed to this standard, 39 reduction from Snappy to this standard, and a 7% reduction from GZIP to this standard. We just talk about the four initiatives. Finally, we write a Spark jobs to put everything together and rewrite the data. Key takeaways, there are four initiatives we took, decimal precession reduction, column reordering, column deletion, adoption of this standard. It turns out they are very initiative. They are very effective in production. We reduce hundreds of parabytes level data on disk which is equivalent to millions of dollars saving every year without introducing any single outages. Thank you all. If you have a question, please send me email. I will be happy to answer them. Thank you.